So during a pricey real estate market, a market that's just like going crazy, like pricing everyone out of the market, mobile homes are in higher demand than ever. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to sell a mobile home with land. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm gonna break down multiple points that are gonna make or break you when you're selling a mobile home with land. Let's keep going. All right, first, you wanna figure out what you have. Do you have a single wide mobile home? Do you have a double wide mobile home? Do you have a triple wide mobile home? Just kidding, I don't think this exists yet. Do you have a modular home? Do you have a manufactured home? So I wanna first break down the differences of what a single wide or a double wide is. Those are usually manufactured homes. These are brought in on trailers, so are single wide mobile homes, so are double wide mobile homes. And usually they take the wheels off, they get rid of them, and then they put jack stands underneath the house and they lay this house on the jack stand. You say this is done with a crane sometimes, but most of the time it's rolled in on a trailer and they take the wheels off and the jack stands are already there. Usually modular homes are mostly brought in via crane. Like a crane picks the modular home up and they do it in halves and they put the halves together. They call it marrying the, the actual halves, but there's already a foundation built. One with, a, say it could be a crawl space foundation, one that you kind of open the lid. You used to see this on like Wizard of Oz or that uh, tornado movie where they all jump in and hide underneath the house from the tornado. That's a crawl space. Usually it's just big enough to kind of crawl around in. And then sometimes, they put in a full-on basement foundation where you can have another story below your modular home. These are modular homes. And then there's a marriage line, usually. A marriage line is where they marry the two halves of a modular together and place it to the house. It is now forever belonging to that piece of land. But there's one thing. You're probably wondering, like, why is Brent explaining all this about modular homes? It's different with single wides, it's different with double wides, and it's different with manufactured homes, which that, those can be used interchangeably. Manufactured is very similar to a single wide or a double wide because it's rolled in on a trailer. And most people that are not in the real estate industry do not understand this about mobile homes and land. So when you're selling a manufactured home or a mobile home or a single wide or a double wide, it's all the same. A lot of times, after a certain year in a lot of states, after 1979, you can actually get a loan on these properties to buy them, but you need actual engineer letter stating that the property is good, and if it's not good, they're gonna tell you what to do. You might have to replace some of these actual jack stands. And when I say jack stand, I mean literally like the things you picture when you're holding a car up, changing the tires, there's a jack stand on each side. A jack stand is holding this mobile home up, this trailer up, this manufactured home in place, and sometimes these things rust, sometimes they go bad and then you have to replace them. Another thing that these engineers are requiring us to do in Colorado when we sell a mobile home on land is we have to put what's called like a polyurethane type plastic down. It's this really thick black plastic. A lot of times they want it to be at least seven to 11 millimeters and we have to put it all down, completely down and we have to tape it around the jack stands because moisture comes from the ground and rots out the underneath of the mobile home. So that's another requirement. And then they just wanna make sure that thing is secure and sturdy and then the engineer will write a letter, they'll stamp it and they provide it to the mortgage company. And a lot of these, they, they have to be less than six months old to get the financing. So that's a couple valuable points to know when selling a mobile home on land. So next, you want to know what the actual VIN number is, like almost as this the VIN number for a car. Mobile homes have VIN numbers. Sometimes they're on the very ends of the mobile home. Sometimes they're in the middle. And if you were dealing with a modular home, a lot of times the modular homes, the newer modular homes, they'll have a VIN number underneath, underneath the kitchen sink, underneath the cabinet. And a lot of times the mobile homes or the manufactured homes, they call it a HUD, a HUD number. And a lot of times these things are taken off. People remove these things off of these trailers, off these single wide mobile homes or paint over them. And it's very frustrating. It takes weeks to order a new one or to track it down. So that's a very important thing to know exactly what the VIN number is or the HUD number is for that home that you're selling with the land. All right, another thing is, is the mobile home purged 
to the land. It's a very confusing concept to me when I first heard this. When I think of purge, I think of, of getting rid of, but what they call it in, in certain areas of the country, they call it purge to the land. Is the mobile home now a part of the land? You know, I kind of explained it with the modular where you build a foundation and you attach that modular home to the foundation. Now it's a part of the land forever. It's the same thing with mobile homes or manufactured homes. You have to actually go in and make sure it's purged with the land. You can contact the county assessor's office. Sometimes you can talk to the planning and zoning office and give them the actual address and the VIN number and they can tell you very easily with your assessor if the property has purged the mobile home, basically that it's a part of the land now. So it's a very important concept. So maybe you're on the other end, maybe you're actually buying this mobile home or buying this mobile home with the land. You wanna know all these things as well. All right, so I wanna get into financing, but before I do, smash that red subscribe button. I hope you're getting tons of value out of this. I come out with these videos five days a week. So I said 1979 earlier in this video, I actually meant 1976. I actually was thinking to myself the whole time I was talking to you, is it 1976 or 1979? The whole 1976 number is very important. I made a mistake when I said 1979, I mean 1976, because Housing and Urban Development, HUD or HUD, they no longer see these, these mobile homes as compliant, as local building standards, local building codes. Before 1976, these mobile homes need to be destroyed. They need to be demolished. Now, if you're living in one, don't worry about it, but it's gonna be really hard to sell it with traditional financing. A lot of times, like banks are gonna be very picky when it comes to financing these. So you're gonna see a lot of sellers having to hold seller financing or seller carry back. I love buying mobile homes because a lot of times a seller is willing to hold the financing or I can get it for a cash discount and I turn around and, and seller finance these to buyers looking for affordable housing. So if you're looking to sell one of these and you're willing to hold some financing and willing to take some payments, this is another way to get cash flow. So just be very prepared to do that unless you're talking about a mobile home that's less than 20 years old. So a lot of times you're gonna to have to hold the financing for these properties to be able to sell them. You know, another way to basically give these a good appearance is you wanna make sure that everything is in great working order. You wanna prep the land, you wanna mow the grass, you wanna paint the exterior of the mobile home because you wanna give it the best foot forward for selling this property. Maybe you're not interested in doing all that. Maybe you're just looking for a company, one-stop shop and come in and buy it from you. I want you to go to zekbuyshouses.com. That's zekbuyshouses.com. We buy mobile homes all over the country. Give us a call, we'd love to help you out and God bless.